How'd you get in there? Good morning, modern setters. It's 30 degrees out this morning. Nice and cold. It's our first real frost of the year. Good morning, girls. You like the chilly morning? It's a month late. I hope that's a sign that maybe winter will be a month late too. But believe it or not, they're calling for snow later on this week. I'm not happy with that. And now we gotta see if we caught anything in the trap last night. I'm not seeing any loose chicks. That's a good thing. I don't see anything in the trap. I think the egg's still in there. Yeah, we still got the egg. It's all set. I think I might try putting some peanut butter on top of that egg later on. I don't remember the modern Stedder's name, but somebody left in the comments saying that use peanut butter, just about any critter likes peanut butter. So we'll add some peanut butter to that egg. There's no skunks in there, right Moose? It's just you and the ladies. Look at the ice. Yuck. Ah. That's frozen pretty good too. Ooh, that's pretty thick. It's a good three sixteenths of an inch thick. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. What you girls think of the cold night last night? Huh? You're all furry. You y'all stay warm enough. You're all furry. Oh my goodness. I gotta go run to town, get some supplies, and have coffee with a friend. Ah, I got frost on the windshield though. Man, we gotta let the truck warm up. Look at that guy, it's 33 degrees out. I'm glad we have defrost and a heater. Alright guys, I picked up some stuff so we can put some bedding in the greenhouse for the chickens. But here's my dilemma. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon. So do I work in the excavator while the ground's dry? Or do I get the chickens, or the chicks I should say, in the greenhouse? I 
So what I've decided for bedding is I'm going to do straw, hay, and wood shavings. I'm going to mix it and then hopefully they'll keep it all screwed up and make it so it doesn't compact as easy. I'm doing the straw and the hay for the moisture on the bottom so it'll keep the moisture of the ground down and then we'll do the wood shavings on top. I think since it's going to be nice out this morning, we're going to run the excavator. It's going to rain this afternoon. We're supposed to get over a quarter of an inch. So if it's too muddy tomorrow, we'll set up the greenhouse for the chicks. Hope it's dried out in here enough to work the ground a little bit. We're supposed to be getting another three tenths of an inch of rain today. So it's not going to make it any better. It's a lot drier in here than it was the other day when we were burning brush.
as much as I hate to call it quits, any little bit of rain right now is just making it so mucky down here. And I'm, I feel like we're getting a good grade going. And if I work this area while it's raining, it's gonna turn into a muddy, muddy mess. Well, the bread and the egg worked last time. The egg didn't work alone, so let's add a little peanut butter to it this time. There was quite a few people leaving in the comments that peanut butter works good for skunks. Make a smorgasbog of peanut butter and bread. Maybe that'll work. I don't know if it smells skunky or not, but... Oh, guys. I still get scared. <sighs> I gotta bring Olivia to the dentist this afternoon to get her teeth cleaned. So... She doesn't get to do the eggs with me. Oh, Buttercup. Why are you always the one who likes to get their head stuck, huh? Huh? You're crazy. Get out of the way, come on. How'd you get in there? There you go. <laughs> You're crazy, you feel better now? You're always the goat who gets their head stuck in things. When are you gonna learn your lesson, huh? Don't do that again. You got it? <sighs> I still haven't put out the other hay feeder back in the barn because I'm afraid she's going to get her head stuck in it. And that just reassures me not to put it back in there yet. If I can find that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. Are you excited to go get your teeth cleaned? No. What? You don't like the dentist? Not when I have a loose tooth. I'm going to tell them. I do like the dentist, <laughs> but I don't like when I have a loose tooth and I have to clean it. All right. 40 degrees out and rainy. That means we need a fire. It's not very nice out out there. Supposed to get down in the 30s again tonight. So we'll make sure the house is nice and warm. Gina's out getting a birthday massage, so me and Olivia are gonna sit on the couch and eat our macaroni and cheese. He had a good dentist visit, so we're gonna enjoy this on the couch. Yeah. Shh, don't tell mom. So I've been trying to lock up New York City a little bit earlier now, because I think the night that the skunks got in there, I know I didn't lock them up till like eight o'clock at night. And I think what happened is they got in there, I locked them up, and then they were in there all night, and that's how they were in there the, that day. And my guess is that they climbed this apple tree, because New York City was on the other side of that, so that was out of the electric fence. So I think they climbed the tree and probably, whoa, had an aerial attack into New York City. So, I wanna lock them up, because I don't want another skunk invasion. That was not fun. Let's see. Nope, nothing's taken any of the bait yet. Guess we'll check that in the morning. Maybe we'll catch something else. I have a feeling there's still at least one more skunk around.
Let's check and see inside. Chickens, chickens, and more chickens. No skunks. That's what I like to see. This is where I'm gonna end today's video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. If you guys have made it this far, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.